Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cable. Welcome to episode 10 of Thinking Out Loud. X Men 97, man. I just finished watching the new season, uh, the new season, the new series. And let me tell you guys, man, there's a lot to unpack right here with these two episodes that I just watched. It's um, first and foremost, I love the intro. The intro just took me way back to when I was a kid, man. I was I'm so hyped. Like it was it was amazing. You could tell that they updated on the the way it looks. The animation looks updated. It looks fresh, clean. Everything looks really dope. Now, in the first episode, I mean, I guess I don't want to spoil too much, but basically they are declaring that Xavier is dead, although he, if you guys remember the last episode of, you know, the series we grew up to, the X-Men, he's not really dead. He went to the, you know, to the Shi'ar Empire to get healed, but he did say that he he won't be returning, but he will always be with them. So I'm guessing that they they basically were like, all right, man, he's he's dead. You know what I mean? So like on Earth, he's not here anymore. So we're just going to declare him dead, you know? So yeah, so that happened. So basically, Magneto, he leaves everything in the name. Everything that was like on his will is basically magnetos now you know he left that on his will like he wants everything that he owned to uh for magneto to have it you know the school the money everything right so that was pretty interesting because you know it, uh cyclops feel he feels kind of like damn you know like he didn't trust me like what's going on with that i don't i don't agree with you know him doing that but he he has to play along because that's they'll, they'll, at the end of the day, those were Xavier's wishes. You know, the show is really comic book accurate. And if you guys read the comic books, you know what I'm talking about. You know, there's a lot of um, a lot of drama already uh, about to happen. You know, like with these two episodes, you see a lot of drama the beginning of it you know like for example you see i'm about to give you guys some spoilers forget about it i, I said i wasn't going to give you spoilers but yo main things that happen on the show magneto you know becomes the leader of the x-men another thing that happens is it's crazy i didn't see that coming but it does happen in the comic book so you know it was cool to see uh happen in the cartoons right now rogue has a thing with magneto believe it or not rogue has an affair like i'm not an affair because she's not married but she's cheating on she's cheating on gambit with magneto it's crazy man and then at the end of the episode you know um cyclops and gene have the baby they have the kid but then at the end of the episode, somebody knocks at the door. Oh, and another thing that happens going back. Storm loses her powers. They shoot her with this gun that affects their mutant ability to a molecular level. So it's like she, it, they're saying that it's permanent. So she decides to leave the X-Men. I don't know if it's going to be a permanent thing or whatever, but she's she decides to leave. So basically, at the end of the at the end of the second episode, they're knocking, and then Morph is like, "Oh, it's probably her coming back." And when they open the door, it's the real Jean Grey. Uh, yo, is the real Jean? You feel me? So it's like, what the fuck? So you're telling me that the 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 woman that Cyclops had the newborn with is not the real gene is a clone oh man it's it's gonna get crazy bro like that's and that's in the comics you know what i mean like that's accurate that's super accurate so they're 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 sticking to the source material you know and i'm excited i'm so excited for this 
like this this is a good season i did i didn't see anything woke or you know anything anything nothing like it was it was dope um at the end of the episode they start talking about people bonding and you see um a morph he goes and joins wolverine for some drinks and then they start you know hanging out and you know just cool like homie shit you know like like they're you could tell they're just really good friends you know what i mean nothing 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 uh out of the ordinary there and then um you see you see rogue cheating on on gambit you know and there's another part that you see gambit he notices it he's starting to notice rogue uh acting weird you know so there's a lot there's a lot that's going to happen in the near uh in the near future in these episodes a lot of things are going to unravel and they're I, I i have a feeling they're going to unravel really quick you know but no woke stuff in the show yet you know everything's good i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving the show and the animation is awesome. The action scenes are, are sharp. They're fun. They're exciting. And they're very entertaining to watch. Like when they're fighting the Sentinels in the first episode, that was super dope. That was crazy. That was, I was feeling it, you know? And it lets you really know how strong these guys are. Like there's a part where Beast basically, um, trips one of the sentinels by lifting his foot you know how heavy that foot is so that mean that lets you know how strong beast really is uh wolverine as well super strong super durable morph super ill he transforms into different characters to like fight the not only the sentinels but other enemies in the show so yeah, man, the show is is a lot of fun. I'm excited. I can't wait to see the next couple episodes. I will be reporting on it, you know, and talking about it. If you guys, you know, like this type of content, and even if you don't, I'm still gonna do it because I'm a fan of X Men and I'm a fan of this show since I was a kid. I'm just really happy to see the show back. Let's go. Till next time.